Hello everyone, welcome to Dark Fairy Tarot. You are joining me on the end of a drizzly but not too cold day in Brussels. Um, welcome to those who already know me and welcome to those who are new subscribers. Yes, I've changed the name of the channel and I did it very quickly actually. Um, so Dark Fairy Tarot I think is really a reflection of, um, more of a reflection of the content of this channel, what I'm delivering here and also who I am. And um, it's been something that's been kind of like very much in my heart for a long time and um, and I just you know I really did think about it before like you know is this the name I'm going with and and it just felt like settling so right with me um, those who already know me you know I am somebody that has a huge passion for the forest it's it's just a big part of my life the woods the forest cityscapes um, also outside in the fields uh, when I go out to the country and you know, one of the blessings I've had in the last six, seven years of my life has been that I became a runner. It was, it was something that I wasn't sure that I was gonna like. I never knew it would be something like this. You know, I just I started it and I didn't know where it was going. And and some people said you'll you'll quit. You know, you'll get tired and blah blah. blah. And um, it has become an integral part of my life. I I really enjoy it and I really love being in the liminal spaces, especially. Um, at dawn and at dusk those who already know me for years you know you've, they've seen me um, post pictures and they're always like it's like I'm always in spaces in those spaces where it's very quiet and I can hear I can hear the land and I can hear the creatures that's how I feel so the name really is just a reflection of my own self and um, and hopefully also what this channel is really kind of like delivering in terms of tarot and oracle and of course the odd book every now and then Okay, so without further ado, and with that um, quick chat and um, and saying thank you to everybody who's been really supportive of me, I thought part of my thank you would actually now extend to um, a couple of TaraTube friends. So this is going to be a video about that, and this is a long overdue video, but it was kind of like, I don't know, I'm someone that really needs to feel like I'm in the right energy, this is it, so um, I'll give you a bit of a background before I launch into the decks. I saw Daniel Noel's work in 2020 when I came back to Tarot and Oracle decks and I didn't know much about it and I was like, in, I was interested and intrigued. Everybody had bought these decks by Daniel Noel at the time, famously yeah, the Star Child deck and then there was the, um, the Star Child Tarot and then the Moon Child Tarot and I was intrigued and then there's the Akashic Records and there was I intrigued. I never, I never bought them, you know, I was like, okay, this is interesting. Um, something that I noticed quite often was that people would say either that they preferred the moon child, that was, that was something that I saw recurringly. And then many people said that they passed on the decks, they just never kept them. So I was like, okay. And at the end of, I need to get my years right now, 2021, I actually saw them at an indie shop. I went to buy them and I kept putting them in the basket and then I kept putting the one that I really gravitated towards was the star child tarot, not the moon child, but the star child. So I kept putting it in my basket and then going, mm -mm, no, not for now. And then by the time I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I, I think it had, um, it was out of stock <coughs> at the time at the indie seller. So anyway, come the uh, beginning of 2022, I did a review of the Dreamkeeper's Tarot by Liz Houston. It's one of my favorite decks. I absolutely love it. I still absolutely love it. I mean, I, I still, yeah, there's something about that deck that's just so special to me. And um, at the end of that review, when I did the, the deep dive, um, I said, like, you know, I'd love to have an indie version of this. So Nancy over at Paper Moon Tarot, being the lovely lady that she is, um, offered to send me um, her indie version, which I still have, I love, and I'm, I'm very, very happy to, to be an owner of the actual original indie version of that deck. Um, but also Nancy very, very graciously said, um, I have the Star Child Tarot, and I think it was along the lines, I'm just not, you know, it's not, I'm not bonding with it, I'm not using it. Um, I can put that in the package too, to send to you. And, you know, I never mentioned my story around the Star Child Tarot or thinking of, I never mentioned anything like that. And I was just like, thank you, basically. I just said, thank you, you know. So it came over from the US, the Star Child Tarot. And um, I just want to say a big thank you again to Nancy over at Paper Moon Tarot for sharing with me um, this gift, um, sending it to me. Um, I was very, very happy to receive it. And um, 
And truth be told, I am very, very picky about when I work with certain decks, the energies, not all of my tarot decks are daily pulls. They use sometimes certain seasons for certain things. I just, I, I'm someone that, that that's very picky about how I work with tarot. That's the best way I'm gonna put it. So this came into my hands and I didn't feel, I only have to say, I didn't feel ready for it. So I was like, what do I do, what do I do? And it's a very, for me, it's a very luscious deck. This is a very luscious deck. So I was like, oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's it's been sitting on my shelf for a year. And then I felt the need. This is it. I have to take it out. So I thought I would share with you all my kind of like, it's not my first impressions now because I've already gone through it once, but I think this is still very, I don't know, initial reactions kind of thing. So these are the backs, you know, you've all seen the star child. These are the backs, this is blowing out a bit. And this is it. So, um, yeah, so I have put it in order. I think it came, I can't remember. Um, I just want to say one thing when I opened this and I felt that I felt this, this beautiful rose petal finish. I mean, it was just like, I was sold. I was sold in like five seconds. I was like, I love, I love the tech. I just, the tactile on this is just gorgeous. So I don't have the Akashic Records. If you have the Akashic Record version of this one, please do let me know what you think of it. Cause I'd love to know from you, you know, now I know that there was the original Akashic, um, uh, Akashic, uh, record version, which was, has, has not come back into print. And a lot of, I know a lot of people said they loved that one. The only one I can get hold of now is the one that's still kind of like in print. Um, so I just like to hear what, you know, is it something that you, you all prefer? Is there a reason? I don't know. So I'd love to hear that. Um, but I um, did fall in love with this deck. One thing I have to say, right, is that I'm, the reason why I gravitated towards a star child and I actually wanted the one with the, the, the pink background was that, um, because I love pink and purple. I love pink and purple. That's why I put on this jumper because I was gonna do this video. So I was like, <laughs> okay. So, you know, I'm someone that really likes these pastel -y colors. Um, my favorite colors are purple, green, pink, and navy. <laughs> I know, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah, strange but true. So, um, yeah, I just really, really wanted to um, look at this deck with you all. And I thought this is the time for me to share it um, on the channel. Um, I'm someone that, and I say this a lot, I think now people know me, I'm someone that when I get a deck, I don't like opening it and then just shoving it to the side. It really annoys me when I do that. And it happens, it definitely happens, but I try to avoid it. So that's why sometimes I delay sometimes opening a deck when I feel like I'm not gonna really appreciate it. And so that's why it's been a while, but now is the time for me to really, I think, work with this deck. There's something about her that's calling me. I think I know why. I think I know because of the energy that I'm going into. And it's just, yeah. It's time, it's time for me to get to know her. She is just a gorgeous deck. Now, I know that since then, Daniel Noel's work is very, very popular. I think it has spawned, let's put it that way, multitudes of decks with this kind of like collage work. And now we see all different kinds of like very collage decks um, out there and with themes like the 90s themes and film themes and all of this going on. Um, but I understand that um, this creator, you know, she really was, I'm just looking over to see if I've got, um, uh, you know, if I've got a date for it. Um, she really was apparently, um, I think, the, the front runner in creating something like this. So yeah, I just absolutely appreciate it. Now I know you've all probably seen this deck and seen it to death. So. I don't want to talk about it too much in the sense because I'm sure that you're all like, oh yeah, but we know it. But I just, you know, these are my impressions. I just think it's a very, you know what this deck reminds me of actually, and this was this was why I gravitated towards her. She really reminds me of the year 2017, 2016, and 2015 going backwards now. Yeah, those years, like very millennial years, that millennial generation years. I'm not, I'm not a Gen X and I'm not a millennial. I'm like in the weird middle ground. I don't know what else you want to call it. Um, you know, I had a mobile when I was 16 kind of thing. So I don't know what you would call, I don't know what, what generation I really fall into. I find Gen X, some of it's just too old for me. Like when they, when they all are reminiscent of the 70s, I'm like, 
no, I wasn't alive then. Um, but then, you know, some of the millennial stuff from the year, that generation, I don't really, I don't know, it's a weird one, it's, isn't it weird? Yeah. So yeah, so this deck really reminds me of 20, around the 2015 mark onwards. Um, we've got clean lines, we've got body, we've got these bodies that are really now, you know, jutting out. It's, you know, it's that time when I think that the millennials were really into kind of like, I don't know what to say, it was very spacey for me, that whole generational thing. I think it was really when we were going into those booms of kind of like, you know, social media, becoming this huge vehicle that it is now and all that kind of thing and I um you know the precursor pre TikTok days um but post Facebook it's so strange isn't it how I'm speaking but this is what this deck reminds me of my time in that time kind of thing like you know when I was that age and what I was getting up to I wasn't that young or anything but you know it's just it really reminds me of that time of my life um the summer of like 2015 2016 2017 all the, up to 20, wait, all the way up to 2018 and then um, especially the hair in this and the makeup and you know and these kind of images for me oh my god look at that I am such a five of cups girl because that's like the, the decan that I'm born under look at that that speaks to my heart that does a lavender forest yeah oh my god that's gorgeous so yeah this deck has this vibe for me which is reminiscent of a time that I'm just really like loving and romanticizing. It's very nostalgic for me actually in many ways. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's the clothing, it's everything in this deck, you know, it's the fashion, it's the body art and all of that going on. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know um, if you've had this deck, what you've thought of it. I do know many people have passed it on but you know each to their own oh i love this one yeah yeah there, there was there are some of the images in this deck that really just strike me i i would i'm thinking should i get the akashic records as well i don't know is it is it necessary is it something that would be too much overlapping this and the other weird thing is i know that she's got this oceans deck which is the latest and i know kelly from the truth and story had just uploaded her first impressions of that the really strange thing is I'm not an ocean person. I'm a Scorpio, but I'm not an ocean person at all. No way. I'm like the Scorpio that you find at the bottom of a lake, that kind of Scorpio, Scorpion, or the Scorpion that you find in a desert burnt to a crisp or frozen in, you know, in minus 10 Celsius at the bottom of a dune kind of thing. I'm that kind of a Scorpion. I'm like the Scorpion that burrows underneath and you don't find for years kind of thing. I am not an ocean girl. So I... And the weird thing is, though, is that I saw that ocean deck and I've been lusting after it. And I don't know why, because I'm not an ocean person. So I'm like, why am I interested in that deck? But I'm still lusting after it. I do know that there's a new deck coming out that's got this very strong ocean theme. And I think it's coming at mass market. And I think it is Daniel Noel. I need to check again. Is it Daniel Noel? But I think it's Daniel, um, I just don't want to confuse it with it's not Rebecca Campbell, that's why. Um, but I think it is Daniel Noel and it's coming out mass market. So, you know, if you're somebody that maybe is considering it and you want to get something at a, at a maybe a different price point, I would wait maybe a couple of months and you will see it pop up. I'm sure it's already available for pre-order on Amazon. So, yeah. So, yeah, it was good to go through this deck actually with you all and have a bit of a chat. So... Without further ado, because there's more. Mm-hmm. You think there's more? Yeah, there's more. We're not at the end of this story. Because this is how bizarre and strange and interesting it is. I'm trying to put this away without damaging it. So 2022 happens, and I'm recounting, you know, I know this is a story with the Star Child Tarot and Nancy over at Paper Moon Tarot being the wonderful person that she is. And then I get a message, and I think it's autumn 2022 last year, from Maine over at Waves of Your Soul. And Maine says to me, and this is now going to be the strangest story ever, Maine had ordered the moon child. And she'd ordered the moon child, and um, it had got lost. This was like several years ago. 
and she kind of like buried it at sea. I, I'm, 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 of course, rewording this a little bit, but paraphrasing here, but apparently this is a story she buried at sea. And I think there was a bit of a resentment there, Marion, if I'm correct. <laughs> and then finally, Marion ordered another copy for herself, which she has. And then in autumn 2022, she goes down to her post box and she opens the post box. And indeed, there was a box. So the lost moon child finally appeared. And they said to me in the message, she said to me, I saw it and I thought, near her. So there you go. Um, the deck finally, this day finally came to me. This is so strange. So Marion graciously said, I'd love to send it to you. I'd like you to have it. Her father had come over to uh, France um, because, of course, Marion lives on a reunion. He'd come over to uh, continental Europe, uh, France, um, uh, uh, in autumn. And then from France, it was um, uh, post posted to me over here in Brussels. So, um, strangely enough, I have also got the moon child here as a gift. So both of these decks have come into my life as just gifts from fellow tarot tubers. And, um, you know, I I really, really wanted to share these stories because I just thought they were so amazing. Um, you know, I'm grateful I, uh, to my friends, to the universe, I'm grateful. Um, you know, I, I'm someone that I really have to, when I, when I, when I, I I'm someone that actually has difficulty weird gifts sometimes i think some people relate to that you know sometimes some of us are challenged because we're not used to the gifts some of us um and so for me you know i was actually a little bit overwhelmed with the gifts to be very honest with you because they're so kind and generous and um and i just wanted to say thank you so with you all i'm opening this gift from Maine over at waves of your soul who's packaged this nicely and I'm opening it with you all, so there you go. I'm enjoying this with you all. Oh, oh my! Oh, she sent me this beautiful. My super track comes from how I feel, my faith and love, and the joy I put out. Oh, she gave me a beautiful card from the super attractive deck. Oh, I love that deck. Oh. Oh, and cute stickers. I've got, I've got this. Oh, it's a letter, so I will. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna read that to side because I. I want to. I want to be. You know, I don't want to just read it out. And then it says here the protector and the magician. Oh, and these beautiful stickers. Marine, what a beautiful, beautiful gift. Okay, so she did ask me this, so I knew this was in there, but I'm going to share it with you all because I'm seeing it for the first time as well. Um, she offered to um, give me one of her bracelets because she also makes jewellery, which is very, very nice. So it came in this beautiful pouch, which I'm trying to open very carefully. Aren't I a lucky girl? I'm a lucky girl. And let's take it out. Oh, let's take it out. So I want to be careful here. Unwrapping all of this. Oh, so be careful that I don't break anything. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> no, this is something else. I need to check the letter. I think this is something very special. I'll I'll check it in a moment. It's like it's like a cave. It's like a cave. It's like a cave of just gifts. It's like I'm just getting more and more and more. I will check everything in a moment. Oh my, look at this beautiful wrapping. Sorry, you're not seeing this all, so let's do this. Let me do this here, because you'll just see my face again. Ooh, so let me just do this all. So this is the, I'll check later. Oh, look at that beautiful wrapping. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to put that in a journal. That's going into a journal, that's for sure. Oh, look at this. And yes, here is my copy of the Moon Child. So this deck, and I just want to, I just want to say the most funny thing about this deck is that it's gone from 
wherever Daniel Noel lives or stocks her stuff in the US to Reunion, to France, well, Reunion is in France, but you know what you mean, from the island of Reunion to mainland France to Brussels. This deck has kind of like done a whole, kind of like, it's done an Atlantic journey, that's for sure. An Atlantic, south coast of Africa, up to Europe. Yeah, this, this deck is just like, okay. Right, okay. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna now open it with you all. So hopefully you're still with me in this video. Those of you still with me. So do you have the moon child? How do you find the moon child? Do you enjoy it? Do you like it? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, do you enjoy this deck? I don't know. Um, what do you use it for if you do have it? Um, what do you pair it with maybe? With either one of these, the star child and the moon child? Do you use it seasonally? Do you use it with, I don't know, is the moon child used more for moon readings? I don't know. I'm sure you all have your own approach to this. Um, I've heard some people say they use this for uh, grief work. Interesting. I mean, you know, I'm all for we make things, you know, we allow things to become a part of our soul, right? That's what it is. When we really love something, it's part of our soul. Oh my God, this feels so gorgeous. Just touching the box, it's like the, 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 the feel is just, oh, the texture. Yeah, yeah, the, the tactile, sorry, the tactile. I'm so excited. Okay, so trying to unbox this. Oh, it's so luxurious, the whole thing. I'm having this whole luxurious experience. So this is there. These are the sides. There's the back. Oh, and let's get this off. This, I can just say now it says here, you are the dance of light and shadow. So I still want to get the gothic version of this, by the way, the new one that's coming out or has come out. I don't know. I am definitely getting that. That will be that will be checked out of an indie store as soon as <laughs> as soon as it 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 touches. I haven't even checked the images for that one, but I know I'm gonna get it. Um so yeah. The, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. We've opened this. So let's oh I love this. This is now completely borderless. Has this gone through iterations? Maybe it has. I don't know. Um, wow. Very different from the Star Child. I feel really grounded with this one. Isn't that strange? I feel the other one was quite high energy and this one I'm feeling very grounded. Ooh. Maybe it's because of the, the beiges. Um, the colors are just so different. Yeah, I'm in a different spectrum. That's how I feel. The The sound from this deck is just so different. Vis-a-vis -vis the other, obviously. Oh, yeah. These are my first impressions. I've never really looked at this deck fully. Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I, I think this is one of those decks I feel that can be easily dismissed if not sat with and really absorbed, if, if that makes sense, because it just feels like, oh, well, it's just a woman with a, with a cup pouring water. You know, it's, it's one of those decks that for me, I really got to tap into the message from the creator on this one. I'm going very fast here. Oh, I like this one, yeah. Um, some interesting images here that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know what your thoughts are of this deck if you have it already. Sorry, I can't get this open. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this, this is, these decks are just so circa 2016 for me. just it just it's sorry this there's like these are like fashion statement decks for me they're like they belong in an era but they are beautiful absolutely beautiful 
Yeah. I can see why this was so well appreciated by um, the tarot community. I can see it's not, of course, it's a very different deck. I think I've skipped a couple there. It's a very different deck from, let's say, something like the Wild Unknown. But there are icons in tarot, and this is another icon. It's a giant of its own self. The This one and the Star Child. These are giants in their own um, right. Yeah, it's just... Going very fast here. I, I've seen this in the Gothic version and how, well, how it looks different on um, Daniel Noah's Insta page is where I've been seeing some of this. I love the woods in, in these decks. I love her forest. This is such an appropriate um, first video done with this name now, with, you know, with my, with, as what was it? When I was messaging Mary, she said this, she says, this is your true self. Yeah, you know, this, these decks are just appropriate in the sense of the feel of that forest and that liminal space through a specific lens, you know, through a specific photographic lens. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's a good, it's, I'm going very fast here. I mean, but I need to sit with these decks. I need to sit with them to appreciate them and love them. Uh, the closest I've ever had to decks like these are of course from last year. I have the She-Wolf and I have the, and then much more cosmic is the, the Lioness Oracle Tarot. And, and that range. So this is really a different vibe um, when it comes to that collage work. I'm really, really interested now in thinking, you know, do I need that ocean deck? Yeah, the ocean oracle. Going very fast here. Oh, I love that Ace of Cups. Yeah, I, this, these decks are just like bringing back so many memories of a certain period of my life. And I think that's a part, probably a hidden reason why I was a little bit hesitant because, you know, I'm going to be revisiting memories, obviously, when I use these. Um, but I can see why they're so appreciated. I can see why people love them. I can also see why they may not be for everyone. And, and I get that, you know. <laughs> there are definitely decks which other people absolutely love and I've just passed over because it's not for me. And so... Now I can respect, they're not for everyone, but I'm really intrigued to work with them. They're really going to push me out of my comfort zone. This is not my comfort zone. They're going to push me out of it. And, and I think that's a good thing. That's really healthy for me. So, um, you know, I'm going to be back in liminal spaces, but this time, you know, from a different perspective, from a different, um, from a different aspect. And, um, yeah, th there is a fashion in these decks that's just really reminding me of a certain period of my life. But they are just so, they, they are interesting. I think they, they really, um, yeah, this is another cool one. They really remind me of a certain, I don't know, a certain trend. It's a trend, I have to say that, it's a trend. But trends become classics, you know, for a reason. And I definitely believe that these decks are classics in their own right. Um, yeah, I, I can see why people love them. I can see why people think that they're so amazing. I can, um, you know, they, they, I can see that they, they created a storytelling which wasn't very, you know, now people are doing it very often. But I think at the time, Danielle Noel broke ground when she did these decks and I can see why now. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking them. I'm really loving them. I'm so glad I have them in my collection. Um, I think they're going to really push me to a different space, um, get me to um, look at tarot again through a different light. And um, and yeah, so I'd love to hear from you. I think I'm gonna stop there. Um, quite a few videos came out this week and a, a channel name is uh, Channel Change 2. But um, thank you again for joining me um, on Dark Fae Tarot. I will be back with more videos and I will see you all soon. Take care now, bye.